About as good a foursome as you could have. Freshman Tori Husk. You got Taylor Ruck, the bronze medalist in the 4x100 for Canada at the Olympic Games. Reagan Smith in her second relay of the night, looking to bounce back from a tough medley relay. And you wrap it up with Brooke Forty, already an NCAA champion, silver medalist at the Tokyo Olympics. And she'll be a contender in the 500 freestyle tomorrow night as well. Yeah, this is a, a, a solid relay all the way through. When you look at the splits they had at the Pac-12 championships, Smith was actually the slowest at 43-1. Stout relay. And when you think about Ruck, she's one of only a handful of swimmers in history. One of only three, actually, that have been under 140 on the relay. And there's Olympian Tori Husk. Husk, just 19 years old, won silver in the 400-meter relay, finished fourth in the 100 butterfly at the Tokyo Games, missing a medal by one one-hundredth of a second. You got Virginia in lane five, the number two seed, and they have added Emma Wyant, one of the best 500-meter freestyle swimmers in the country, into this field. She did not swim this relay at the ACC Championship. Yeah, they took off Bathurst, who swam on that relay, and put in Wyant, who Probably has a hot hand coming in here to the NCAAs. Wyatt again, the silver medalist in the 400 IM, ACC champ in the 500 freestyle, and she'll swim the anchor leg. It's a good start for Stanford with Ruck, excuse me, Husk straight into the pool, the 19 year old from Arlington, Virginia, who won three medals at the World Short Course Championships this year, all in the relays, two of them gold. And now down low in lane two near the bottom of your pool, Cal with the Pac 12 champ, Isabel Ivy. Off to a strong start. Comes in seated second in the 200 freestyle. So you know she's going to be very strong in this relay. And she is just flying out there. Look at the split she's going to have. 48-4 on the feet. She's got a chance to break 140 here on the leadoff leg. It's a massive start for Ivy. Ruck is keeping pace. Excuse me, Husk keeping pace. The Stanford freshman with Ruck waiting on the second leg. But it is Ivy. Growing her lead here. Cal and Stanford have already opened up a rather massive gap over the rest of the field. And this is a heck of a field. When you think about it, five conference champions are in here, and then three runners up in this 800 free relay. This is a very deep field when you're talking about overall. And look at Ivy just making. It looked easy here on this 200 freestyle. So it's Callen first, Stanford in second, and it's Texas running in third out of lane number six with Kelly Pack. And Riley Tillman, the Virginia freshman, has the Cavaliers into fourth. A 141-35 for Ivy to lead off the Bears. Fell off a little bit at the end, but that's a great split for Cal to get things off for the Bears. Again, they don't have the depth to match up with Stanford, but Unfortunately, no other team does either. So they're in a good position to kind of maintain that second place spot right now. Virginia right above Stanford will get themselves back into it with Alex Walsh now. Gretchen's sister, who's a sophomore. Gretchen the freshman. Gretchen Walsh now has an NCAA championship after getting off the 200 medley relay. Her sister trying to add another to the family tally. Stanford into the lead. It's been a strong start for Taylor Ruck, the 21-year-old from Kelowna, British Columbia. She was second in the 200 back, third in the 100 back at the Pac-12 championship this year. And a Tokyo Olympian for Team Canada. Virginia making progress in the race for second, but slow progress. Cows Ava Spitz not giving it up very easily. Well, when you think about Stanford, you don't want to take anything away from the freshman Husk and what she put up, 141.9. And that lead is going to be extended now. Virginia's starting to think about going by Cal right now. Stanford will close with Reagan Smith and Brooke Forty, a couple of Olympians, a couple of Olympic medalists. Virginia will close with Ellen Elson and Emma Wyant. So two very strong back halves for the teams in first and second as Virginia has overtaken Cal now. But it is a, a wide lead, maybe eight or ten yards at the midway point for Stanford. And into the pool goes Reagan Smith. And we watched a replay of her race in the medley, and she missed two turns. So you imagine she has a, a little extra chip on her shoulder coming into the pool here. Yeah, she, uh, she flipped at the 50, and her feet just kind of hit at the top of the pad. We'll certainly 
flush that out and show it to you tomorrow right before her races, but, you know, it can happen to the very best. Uh, it, it, that's why when you look at one of the best in history in Reagan Smith, it happens to everyone, and you learn from it, and she'll learn from that, no question about it. Smith, just a freshman at Stanford, deferred her original enrollment a couple years ago due to COVID, obviously focused on the Olympics last year, now finally in the pool for the Cardinal, and part of a Stanford team that is resurgent this year, ranked second nationally in the most recent poll with the return of so many Olympians who took last year off to focus on their Tokyo prep. And here comes Reagan Smith building her lead. Virginia in second, Cal still holding third, and then it's Texas in fourth. 43-7 if you're wondering about Stanford for Taylor Ruck. Big lead though for Stanford. Nobody's catching them. And this is where, you know, we didn't talk about how important the exchanges are on the 200 medley relay. Ob obviously critical. You've got to be much quicker. You've got to take a little bit more risk on the 200 relays. But this is one where you have to be a little bit more careful. You don't want to make a silly mistake and false start here, especially if you're in the lead. Uh, and how about the most experienced swimmer on the Stanford team, Brooke Forty? You don't expect her to make a mistake like that. The grad student is in the pool, and the 23-year-old took it super safe at the start. Already a four-time NCAA champion, twice in this 800 free relay, twice individually, and looking for her fifth career title with a massive lead to work with. Emma Wine in the pool for Virginia. She should be able to solidify second for the Cavaliers, but Cal has had a really game swim here, and with their anchor, Leah Polonsky, who was an Olympian for Israel. They're still pushing Virginia a bit, but in a clear third at the moment. Well, I think when you talk about historically and what coach Terry McKeever has brought to this Cal team, is there, I'm not sure there's any coach that can actually peak and get their swimmers at the highest level at the NCAA championship that Terry McKeever has. And Cal is showing it to you right now. So Cal's still battling for a top three spot. Here's Brooke Forty all alone in your picture right now for Stanford. The academic All-American who got her undergrad degree in human biology, getting her master's degree in epidemiology, which seems to be timely at the moment, and is about to put the finishing touches on a dominant performance for the top seed. Stanford, two more lengths to go. Forty way on top, and look at this push from Cal. The Bears are even with Virginia. Cal is really coming on with the freshman, Lewanski, at the end. So 40 way on top now, Emma Wyant with an answer for Virginia. A slight lead over Polanski, but it is neck and neck for second. Brooke 40 closing out Stanford's third 800 free relay championship in her career with the Cardinal. Look at this finish for second. And it is Virginia by five hundredths of a second over Cal. Boy, what a relay. 648, they average 142s. Not bad. And Brooke 40 at the end, 142 plus, 142.5 I think at the end. In unofficially rough math, but look at this for second. Virginia, two freshmen going at it. Barely. <laughs> what a relay. And that could loom large at the end of the day. Definitely. It, it may not seem like much, but it's a four point difference between second and third and allows Virginia to up its day one score to 74 points. Yeah, and they finish first and second in the relays. By far better than anybody else results from the first day. Big win for Stanford. Rowdy, I think we're going to get you some of that headgear gear to wear on, on camera tomorrow. <laughs> Be a good look. Cardinals good as advertised there. They win in 6:48:30. So, hey, not quite that 2017 record, which may stand unbreakable for a while, but a, a heck of a time by the Cardinal in a win of nearly five seconds. Your top eight overall. How about Georgia yeah. for the second heat into the top five, along with Florida and Louisville scoring in the top eight twice without being in that third and final heat in either relay.
Well, this is Stanford group that knows a thing or two about winning this relay, and they're with Elizabeth. Reagan, I'm going to start with you. NCAA championships is an intimidating, daunting me, especially as a freshman, but you're ending night one as an NCAA champion. How are you feeling? Is it, can you kind of take a breath now? Yeah, it feels really great, and I have a great group of girls around me to do it with, and this is just a really special feeling, and I'm so happy to do this for Card. You talk about doing it for Card Brook. This is your fifth year, your last NCAA championships. What does representing Stanford mean to you, especially over the past few years? Yeah, you know, we always talk about just like representing the Stanford legacy. And like my freshman year, I was part of like one of the most impressive NCAA teams probably in the history of the sport. And so like from the moment I joined this team, I just knew it was something really special. And I've been like, what I hope when I leave this team is that, um, you know, they just, they carry that for the future. And that's what I've been trying to do since my freshman year. Well, you're certainly a leader and they will follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, ladies. So Stanford takes the win after a 10th place, the medley relay. Big win, much needed win for the Cardinal in the 800 yard relay. They'll get their national championship trophy.